Well, the game's trying to get hot out here. He's got a fake beef going on with Takashi 69 And then he also has a beef with Star going on. And then, you know, it's just like, it's reminding me of the Meek Mill beef. And then also he has that 40 Glock thing still going on. I guess game has allegedly has a uh, judgment on his house or something for some money that wasn't paid to 40 Glock. And some girl from, uh, I forget that, for the love of game or some show he did. And, you know, she got some money because he disrespected her. Anyways, let's get into this. This is uh, George Tower with JT News. Hit that bell, hit that subscribe button. Product of the week are wireless earbuds under $40. The link is below. Why pay $150 when you get them for under $40 and they do the same thing? Click that link below and get them now. As got straight out of Philly, got the new single Paper Chaser with Oskino Vasquez. He's from the same neighborhood as Gilly and ARM. Social media and album links below. And if you want to run ads on the channel, shorttarmedia, gmail.com. Now, the game, okay? Well, he's one of the top rap artists to me. I mean, he his lyrics are on point. He makes great songs, okay? But when it comes to beef, it's always uh, unclear what's going on. You know, with Meek Mill, he, he uh, dissed Meek Mill out of nowhere, calling him a snitch and saying that... Uh, I don't know, what did he do? He pointed the finger at game or something that Sean Kingston, you know, he shut up Sean Kingston or something like that. And then that that was a beef last, what was it, last year or year and a half ago? I forget. Anyways, we all remember that. And then as soon as game's album dropped and he was done with proning his album, he stopped talking about it. Now, if it was that serious, if, he had, if Meek had gotten the cops sent to your house and everything, this would have been a beef forever. Just like 50 Cent never drops a beef, okay? The beef with 50 Cent in game, it was really over nothing, okay? Seriously. Then, um, recently, Star said some comments. Uh, Star, now, Star, Star started this one. Star starts a lot of his beefs and uh, said something about game. He asked academics, like, who passed the torch to Kendrick? And then uh, DJ Academics said game, and then... Star was like, how he doesn't even have any lyrics. Now I don't, I don't agree with Star. I think Star was just trolling, you know. Game? Who do you think that had, 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 had lyrics? Game had rhyme quotables. Stop. Stop. Ran around with it. Nah, I don't know. I, I think uh, it's, it. There was a show called uh, Star and Buckwell, and uh, I think that's the story from it. But uh, he was uh, talking some crazy stuff about, uh, I can't remember, I think it was DJ Envy's daughter or something. And, you know, he claims that, you know, he stuck up for DJ Envy, and then Star tried to sue him or something. Okay, so that's that. But then when it was uh, it was brought up about Takashi 69 in that very interview, I'll link this interview below from 16 Bars. Uh, they uh, they asked him about Takashi 69 and he said... Yeah, you know, I got no problem with Takashi Six Nine, but if you go against LA, LA is gonna come for you. Okay, but now today, Game is saying F Six Nine uh, because I guess in the, now now this is this is interesting. Now YG YG put out something about uh, about Takashi, a subliminal. Now he has this song called So Woo or something, and it's like a blood anthem. And uh, Takashi just put out a blood anthem remixing Plug Walk uh, by Rich the Kid. Now, pretty fire, I'm going to be honest, okay? It's a little more fire than YG's, so be it. But YG said, you a clown, you it. You clown, you a clown, you it. Okay, so he's kind of like subliminally dissing Takashi. Takashi put out Blood Walk and he remixed Plug, Plug Walk, right? And shit's hot. Okay, so I think this got game. Now, in this, he says something about Black Wall, Black Wall Street, which is game's whole thing, right? So I think that might have pissed off game. And also, how hot this blood anthem was pissed off YG. I don't know. We'll have to see how this all develops. I know that Takashi's going to take right to the gram. If he, go, if he takes right to the gram after Jay Prince's son, uh, he's going to take after game because obviously... He doesn't know <laughs> that. But now game's like more safe. But with the J Prince thing, he shouldn't have said anything, honestly. Uh, but anyways, what do you guys think about this? I'm just keeping you guys up to date. Hit that bell. Hit that subscribe button. This is George Tower with JT News. And if you want to run out of the channel, it's JordanTowerMedia at gmail.com.
Comment. So what's up? What's up with Gina, man? It's like, you kind of got angry, aired out one time. Yeah, you know what it is. I think I was building something that was unhealthy, cause it was running solely on my energy, and it took for them to reach a point like yeah. I think all of them was already made over five million dollars. Cool. Like how much? That's that help that I was talking about, though. At that point, if White Nas had that energy, he could have helped them get into a decent space financially before going, you know what, y'all on your own. He didn't really give them that support and then said, now nah, y'all on your own. I still talk to Lord Spunk, the, like, the, the people who was there that wasn't a part of the music. Right, right. You know what I mean? And we, I mean, we all good. It's just, I just, I didn't see him doing, like, he just looked, and then his, his, his character is sometimes... Have you, have you seen him and spoke to him? No, nah, I haven't. Not, not at all? No. So not since then? And I haven't seen him. Wow. Yeah, like, I, I had a conversation. Look, he wanted to do the same thing that Jay did to him with Carmen, to Mega. Because he called me to get Holly number in Queens, Circle 5. And Mega was messing with it at the time. He was tight at Mega at the time. He sent me to go get the number. I went through there. And then after that, it was like, like he called me like three times that night to tell me what was going on. You know what I'm saying? And then when I did the Jennifer Lopez joint, I did a remix for Jennifer because the first thing I did is Puffy called me back to help him with the Make This Money. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? And after I did that, then um, I was working with Jennifer. I did a remix on one of her joints. And then Irv started crying and Donnie and them and was like, yo, what are you going to do? This guy's exactly what he says he is on these records. You know what I mean? Why you want to do business? What happens when he gets mad and he does this something to Jennifer? So he was kind of using wow. me against me at the time and then they pulled back off and he was like, use Nas. Nas just beat Jay-Z. They just went through the ether. That little back and forth thing. You know what I'm saying? And then Nas ended up doing the record. I wasn't mad that he did the record. I was mad that he didn't call me. You called me three times to, to ask me about Mega's girl. And then you didn't call me when you did the record over. What is a direct reflection of what you've created? Music box. In the music business, it would be maybe an indication of the general public going to buy it. Maybe. So, if we take those people in front of me and add them up, they all didn't sell what I sold on my lines. But I'm coming against. My, my whole real argument about the whole thing was I mean, <clears throat> there's some people on the list who don't even deserve to be there. Don't deserve to be there. Then. They didn't write all their own rhymes the whole right. time. So it's like, how did wait? How did Game get to be number three when I wrote his three first records, his three first singles off his first album? That means I'm number three. Come on, put me back on that. <laughs> <laughs> that means I'm number three. Oh, he wouldn't even be here, right? I don't know, man. Exist. And the last record, the, the song that actually sold his record was yeah, One Blood, the one that had the chorus built in. You know what I mean? Because when he had to do the actual hook, he did a strip club record. Right? I heard the whole album before he was on it, dog. <laughs> the documentary, I heard it before he was on it. True story. That's what we should do. We should put out my version. Your vocals. Yeah, your vocals. That's Lika Lodge. Put it out. Go on documentary yeah. part two. <laughs> <laughs> Six record EP. Spin this guy, man. Six, that's an EP. I right, thought you guys were cool now, man. I thought you guys yeah, were trying cool, to work nah, things nah, out. Nah, to... I don't work with them, but I just, you know. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we just don't work with each other. I don't got nothing to say about them. You know, I don't care about them. Plus, if I keep go too hard on them, then I'll mess up my money. This man, for real. I let niggas know. I'm real with it, man. Low key. And your ass going up north, because they giving niggas three and a half for burners now. Yeah, they shot my face and everything changed. As God straight out of Philly got the new single Paper Chaser with Oskino Vasquez. He's from the same neighborhood as Gilly and ARAB. Social media and album links below. As God straight out of Philly got the new single Paper Chaser with Oskino Vasquez. He's from the same neighborhood as Gilly and ARAB. Social media and album links below. Definitely. The, the different. When, when the rapper's album was coming at yeah. different points, and they just get crazy because they have to start their record off and go to Clue and get it hot. You got to. Yep. Right quick. You got to. Die. I remember that, that. I was smart enough to take even my first tape, 50 Cent of the Future, had four freestyles on it that had previously been on Clue tapes. Yeah, Shaman used to come before uh, y'all got on. He used to come to the station 
every Monday with like or every other Monday with new joint come up in the you know the yeah. Maroon Tahoe pull up and come get you. Yeah, you know I mean? it was official. Right. Now, Fifty, before we go back to music for a second, if there was 